Vaccines are for protection and not for treatment, and one simple mistake could turn to be a disaster on the farm. The most frequently used and easy one is via oral and through water. Vaccinating via drinking water is less stressful because of its simplicity in method of administration. Lots of errors do occur, noticed or unnoticed, which leads to failure of vaccines. For any vaccine to be able to prevent and boost poultry birds' immunity against poultry diseases, it has to depend on various factors ranging from temperature storage and handling method ways or technicality in administering is also a major factor too what's up my people welcome to life of a farmer love we will discuss farming in details i remain your anchor is your of okay you can call me over us a sincere appreciation to all my old and new subscribers big shout out also to those that view without subscribing please kindly click the subscribe button at no extra cost to you also click the bell icon for prompt updates whenever i upload a new video please click the thumbs up button share and drop your questions in the comment section thanks without wasting your time let's dive into the main cocoa mistakes in vaccine administration in poultry don't just cause waste of products it also affects the birds be it broiler layers turkey quail and so on as they are not protected resulting in reoccurring sickness and loss on the farmer's part i have been in such situations several times and have learned my lessons which i want to share with you the first approach for your vaccine to be effective has to be where you purchase your vaccine from. There are vet shops that don't stick to vaccine storage rules and if you happen to buy from them, there is every tendency that what you are giving to your birds is not potent. I notice that whenever I purchase vaccine for my birds from that particular shop, it's always not effective compared to other vet stores. One occasion, I have encountered a sis rep that she just brought out the vaccine from the refrigerator, holding it in her hand for over five minutes without eyes and at that moment, she was talking to the supposed buyer that came for the vaccine. That vaccine was later not accepted by the customer because he was asking for Nigeria-made vaccine and not foreign-made. That same vaccine was returned back to the refrigerator, which another farmer will eventually buy without knowing that that vaccine potency has been reduced. Make sure to be cautious of where you get your vaccine from. And this now lead me to tell you one trick about vaccine medication. And the first tip I want to tell you is that before you administer your vaccine ensure to stop all medication be it synthetic or herbal medicine between 24 to 48 hours before vaccination and administer plain water the second approach is mode of transportation vaccines cold chain have to be maintained from point of purchase to the point of usage make sure to go to your vet shop with ice pack or ice block most vet shops in my area do provide ice block but you have to come with food flax that can preserve the ice block till you get to the farm. Once you get your vaccines, place the ice pack or ice block at the base of your flax and place a piece of cloth on it. You can then wrap the vaccine with paper. Once this is done, then place another ice block or ice pack wrapped with cloth on it. This is to maintain the temperature of the vaccine. This then leads us to tip number two. If you are still brooding, make sure to remove the heat source before administration of the vaccine. If the brooder pen is hot, open the door for proper ventilation to allow cool air in the third approach is the time of vaccination. On, on this, I have seen countless farmers vaccinating birds on a hot afternoon in the name that that's when they have chance or le when they are less busy. This is absolutely wrong. Vaccines are best administered at the coldest time of the day. This could be either early in the morning, before sunrise or at night. Don't skip this video because there are many more tips that are very important if you want your birds to have full immunity from your vaccine. I attempt it pre-vaccination tips. I don't joke with this aspect at all. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, kindly do so and ensure that the bell icon is turned on so you won't miss subsequent upload. Don't forget to like, share for others to benefit. Thanks. The fourth approach, one to two days before you vaccinate your beds, make sure to thoroughly wash all your drinkers and water containers you intend to use. If it's nipple drinkers, you can flush the line three to four times to clear it. This will then lead us to tip number Number three, which is to use salt solution of high concentration and it should be done at midnight when lights are off so that your beds won't have to drink from it. Then on the day of vaccination, make sure that your beds are given feed and starve of water between one and a half to two hours. And this then leads us to during vaccination, which is the fifth approach. During vaccination, make sure to avoid the vaccine solution from spilling on the floor, most especially gumboro or when administering live vaccines. 
ensure to walk around the pen for two to five minutes at interval of every 30 minutes for the one hour 30 minutes to two hours duration that the vaccine is being administered this is to agitate all beds to have a drink there are more tips in this video so please do not skip yet the sixth approach is what i termed post vaccination approach this is important because even if all approach are successfully carried out a deviation from post vaccination approach could render all your efforts useless as vaccine already consumed when potent can still be broken and be non-potent please if you are yet to subscribe kindly click the subscribe button and turn on your bell icon so that you won't miss future upload also like and share to encourage me to do more don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section thanks after vaccination withdraw your drinkers wash with soap and sun dry allow best to stay without water for roughly one hour before giving them plain water during this period still make sure that the the heat source are removed or off and the pen is not hot ensure that the beds are not subjected to stress such as making them to run by frightening stress and frightening of beds could make your vaccine to fail after being consumed this then brings us to the fourth tip. On no account should you administer any form of drugs, be it synthetic or herbal, either antiviral, antibiotics, or vitamins within the next 24 hours of the vaccine. And please, I want you to note this. Do not administer any form of iodine-containing drugs to your beds after vaccination. Iodine are potent antiviral and on administration after vaccine could flush out the vaccine from your bed system. That is what iodine does. Please avoid it after vaccination. The fifth and last tip is to click on the end screen right now to watch other interesting videos about farming and also my playlist on organic farming. If you are thinking of going into organic, subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks. See you in my next video. Peace out.